Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Sunday, November 17th, 2024. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Secretary of Defense nominee under President Trump's 47th uh, administration, or second official administration as 47th president. I don't mean to get confused there. I'm gonna just keep going. <laughs> Pete Hegseth. Now, Pete is a veteran. He served for 21 years in the armed forces. He is an author. He's a commentator on Fox News. He is uh, not part of the Pentagon good old boy network. And so it surprised a lot of people that his name was the one that uh, came forward from Donald Trump. Now, we're going to take a look at a compilation I've got because they're trying to they being the mainstream narrative, is trying to paint him as a controversial choice rather than just simply unexpected. Let's take a look at a compilation I have. If it interests you, you can look at it in closer detail by following the Facebook link that will be in the video description box. Okay, so is he unexpected or is he controversial? You decide. Don't you love when someone tells you that? <laughs> hey, I'm all about thinking for yourself, folks. Okay, let's go to that share screen. They say that uh, between social media and memes nowadays, that's where the news is at. I think that's right. You see, here is a mainstream headline. Pete Hegseth sexual assault allegation, everything we know. And as one social media poster said, Newsweek decided to run this headline just so they could write three paragraphs down that Pete was cleared of all wrongdoing and no criminal charges were filed. Do you think people are going to read past the headline and get to that or just notice that he had a sexual assault allegation? Then, Mostly Peaceful Memes said, perhaps we need someone not from the Pentagon to run the Pentagon. He said that because, and this is true, folks, for the seventh year, the annual audit for the Pentagon, they failed their audit. They cannot explain what they did with $824 billion. I'm sure they can explain some of it, but they can't explain all of it. And that's the seventh year in a row that that has happened. Now, I saw a really good, I'm not going to click on this, but I saw and I included the link for you here to one of the posts where it shows up, a uh, snippet of an interview with Pete Hegseth. And he talked very quickly about how he would handle recruiting, who needs to be gone from the Pentagon, who needs to be a uh, part of the Pentagon. He had some really good ideas, very well spoken, and it's only one minute and 24 seconds of your time. And again, they have a picture of him in uniform here dispelling any rumors that he doesn't have military experience. He's just, again, not part of the Pentagon's industrial complex. Now, Pete has also been um, criticized for some body art that he's got, some body ink. And one that actually, and he mentions that he was uh, disinvited to uh, <laughs> be in something because of it, was because of a, uh, a tattoo he has on his chest. Or, really close to his collarbone. It's, uh, and here it is, if you want to see what it is. And this particular tattoo of his has caused lots of speculation about other affiliations, what have you. And uh, as he explained, it's simply a cross. And just like you see here on this particular volume. So that's it. I mean, it's not a lengthy one, but we've uh, the controversy about his body art. We've talked about that. The controversy about does he know what he's doing? Is he a veteran? Yes, he is a veteran. He explains how he I loved how he said he'd handle recruiting. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, just the fact that they're running once again, the sexual assault allegation stuff. You know, whenever they there's a conservative Nominee, it seems like that is their go-to for things to try to discredit the person involved. But we're going to let the universe tell us what's going on with Pete Hegseth. I would like to know if he's going to be successfully placed in the role of um, Secretary of Defense for the United States, as well as additional insights and information the universe wants us to know. And uh, again, you decide for yourself if he's an unexpected choice or a controversial one. And controversial is not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, I'm having trouble 
seeing what the downside is to his nomination personally. Now, that's Laura's view. We'll find out what the tarot view is, okay? So if uh, the universe chooses to share the information with us, we'd like to know if Pete Hegseth will successfully become our next Secretary of Defense for the United States, as well as additional insights and information the universe wants us to know about this gentleman. Okay, we've got the Devil card. Seven of Cups. Five of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Seven of Swords. Knight of Swords, lots of swords showing up for this. Okay, the uh, situation and individual is indicated by the devil. So um, while I was really impressed with him, I'm not impressed with him being recipient of this particular card. And uh, it, it typically talks about someone that uh, has given in to a lot of temptations that they shouldn't have and may not be exactly forthright about their motives and agenda. The... Uh, Seven of Cups is just telling us that they, we have lots of choices here on what to believe and not to believe. And don't take one card over other hard evidence by any means, but let's see what the universe is telling us about this gentleman because the rest of it actually looks pretty good. Okay, the uh, Five of Wands in the recent past talks about the fact that he is a controversial figure. Okay, there has been his name getting thrown out there has caused consternation and uh, a lot of uh, uh, notice. Okay, and the mainstream just uh, doesn't know what to make of it. <laughs> the, uh, however, the current situation here, while it looks like, and I haven't got an indication yet that we're dealing with a 2.0 situation, which would explain why the universe would talk about one way about the original uh, person and then talk nicely about the 2.0. This Knight of Pentacles is a card of stable military um, strategy, planning, what have you. It's a good card to have. It it does a lot to mitigate any negativity that you see here with the devil card, just so you know, okay? Because it's aspected by this side with the Knight of Pentacles, which is a beautiful card, especially asking a question about, you know, a good military decision. This guy, this card says, yes, they make them. So that's nice to see. Let's look at the near future, see what's going on. We have the Page of Swords showing up here, which talks about truth. So it looks like to me, okay, he's got some stable military um, strategies and uh, um, very strong character. The Page of Swords talks about truth. However, the Seven talks about someone that's kind of sneaky. And look, he's right. He's given a little uh, getting energy from and giving energy to the devil card. So I don't know. I think uh, I think with Pete, if I was President Trump, I might be looking at another name. He might be one I'm throwing out there for other reasons. You know, some of his nominees, if they want us to look at them, keep an eye on them. But this gentleman wasn't seeking public office at the time that his uh, name was put forth. So um, that kind of is another factor to be thought of. The Knight of Swords is uh, kind of a white hat card. So it says, you know, no matter what this gentleman um, might have in his past or have not been too um, forthright about, the, the white hats are on it. So um, this is a very reassuring card here. We got the truth card. We got the white hat card nod here. Let's get a few more cards and find because with this fact question here, there's some interesting uh, um, indications going on. We have the Four of Cups, Queen of Swords, another card talking about truth. We have the Two of Wands, which right now Two and Three of Wands are really nice, saying, hey, our world is changing and moving in the direction we want it to. And then we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting from this, you know, if you just look at what card indications are, this one is, you know, take your time to make up your mind, but don't overlook things. Queen of Swords in a political or current events read talks more about um, truth and diplomacy and clear thinking. 
So um, that is, I think we're getting kind of into the advice for us. Take your time to make up your mind. Okay. Use a logical, critical thought as you do. Let's look forward. What Now, no matter who is, and we have no hard yeses here, no matter who is placed in the Secretary of Defense position, um, it's our world is going places where that's going to be less and less of an important uh, position to have um, in our um, representation. And then we have the nine of wands, again, kind of backing up that we're going places where <laughs> we're just not going to need to worry as much about the military industrial complex and military might and things like that. And that's nice to see. Now, based on what I'm seeing in these cards, I don't think he is going to successfully get the position. And, uh, you know, I'm not always right, but I'm not always wrong. So we'll just have to see. But I'm not seeing any indication here that he is going to be successful in that bid. And uh, I'm sure Mr. Trump has a plan B or a, you know, that he, a fallback that he can go to. And again, some of his, uh, some of his nominations are done just to startle, cause conversation, cause consternation. And this may be one of those times. Now, I, like I said, I was really, I liked that interview with him. Um, wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. I still want to. It, like I said, I'm just seeing that he might not be successful in getting into that position. And it looks like there may be something in his past or something as part of his essential nature that is also a factor in uh, making him not the ideal candidate that we might like him to be. So let's recap. We were looking at one of another one of Mr. Trump's nominees for um, high level positions in his incoming administration. And Pete Hegseth has been uh, mentioned as being a very strong candidate and the preferred candidate for the Secretary of Defense position, which has caused a lot of hue and cry <laughs> and consternation, which I've kind of enjoyed that part of it. So we asked you, after we looked at some facts about him, we asked the universe for insights and information. And was it possible that he would be successfully um, placed in the position that he's been nominated for? Uh, quite honestly, I saw nothing that indicated he would successfully get into that position. Um, I kind of like to be wrong about that. I'm just going to tell you what the cards said. And uh, when they're pretty emphatic, I'm not going to argue with them. They're just saying that right now, as I'm asking this question, it doesn't look that likely that he will. And one of the big things that makes me wonder about why I was feeling so good about him, and maybe I should rethink that and take my time to do so, look for other facts, look a little deeper, dig a little harder. Uh, he was indicated by the devil card. Devil card's not necessarily evil per se, but it does tend to talk about someone that can be tripped up by temptation, has in the past, and may again be susceptible to that in the future. So that may actually be what is the deal breaker for him as far as being Secretary of Defense. Nothing about his vision for how the job should be performed or anything like that, but it does look like that is a possibility. The uh, We were told several times with the cards in the read to take our time, look for other information and, uh, you know, don't necessarily buy into any narrative, you know, mainstream or off the mainstream as you make up your mind. So use good logic. We've got lots of choices here on what to believe, who to listen to. So, you know, trust your gut, do, do your own thinking, do a little research for yourself and see. In the near future, I did see some uh, cards that were pretty positive for the gentleman. Okay, got a card indicating that he would be um, seeking some truth and diplomacy and uh, um, you know right now it looks like his heart's in the right place and he's willing to uh, uh, do whatever needs to be done. He, the uh, white hats kind of watching over the whole situation as it develops and vetting him and part of it so that was good. We did have another though card that said you know he uh, he could be trying to get away with some stuff or he might be susceptible to allowing things to slide that shouldn't slide or what have you. Anyway, back to that temptation thing, because this was right under it. The uh, Knight of Pentacles, though, said, you know, basically, as far as having military genius, the man is a good nominee. He's very good. He's got the strategies. He's got the willpower. You know, he's got the cojones to do the job, you know. So he wasn't a poor nomination, but uh, uh, by any means. The... Uh, to me, the best cards showed up in the near future saying, in the end, 
we're so close to the end zone of having much less need for military might and, you know, a huge military industrial complex as we move into a new type of plane of existence that it's almost irrelevant. And so that was really good to see. The uh, Again, you know, take your time, make up your mind. Uh, he's not a bad nominee. I just didn't see anything to indicate that he would be successfully placed in that position. Uh, what I did see was if for some reason he is, he's got some good, good ideas, uh, but he's going to need someone kind of keeping an eye on him to make sure that the the cards that indicated a tendency to give into temptation or what have you um, doesn't trip him up professionally, okay, or make him uh, easily compromised, because he's going to be he's going to be playing hardball with some big players if he gets in there, okay. People that uh, have uh, no compunction about doing whatever they need to do to reach the objective they want, or who they step on on the way. So that's it for this video. <clears throat> I thank you so much for your time and attention and viewership very much. And again, I'm telling you what the cards seem to say. And they almost disagreed with me because I was feeling really positive about them. And that's just the way it is. And we'll wait and see. But if I was going to say who's right, the tarot cards or Laura, I'd go with the tarot cards. <laughs> okay, because I'm human. I'm susceptible. I have my biases. You know, I see someone that has uh, can... Uh, speak a strong truth, you know, and look like they can back it up. And, you know, hey, I'm, I'm favorably impressed. So until next time, if you're willing to receive it, I send you love, light, and I wish for you everything bright. And I thank you so much for being here. Uh, bye.